something happened in the art community. And I'm an artist, so that means I get to talk about it. I mean, I'm kind of really late to this subject because it, it kind of started about a week ago, but this artist is yet to answer for all of the stuff that they've been criticized for, so technically I'm not late. Anyways, here's my whole analysis of the whole cooling art situation. Most artists that are on TikTok are going to be familiar with this term called art lore. If, if you're an artist and you're on TikTok, then you just immediately shivered up when I said that. It's usually used when something funny or controversial is posted onto TikTok with the context of art in the background, right? Usually when you see these kinds of situations, the way that the art community responds is by redrawing that in their own style in a very exaggerated and mocking way to show their point, which is like, hey, you're kind of doing something messed up and it's really funny to point and laugh at you. That's usually what the whole art lore thing revolves around. Currently, we have one of those art lore things where the majority of people with some few outliers are mad and kind of have a reason to be. The main subject of all of this criticism and all of this hate for this kind of art lore bit is an artist by the name of Cooleen. Or Colleen, I think. I, I really can't bother with this name. Anyway, a little recap on Cooleen. She's an artist that has been on YouTube for... I mean, she's been around since the beginning of 2019, but she didn't blow up until late 2021 with her art tutorials. Cooleen is really confident in her art, and honestly, that's really fair. She demonstrates a lot of skill and fundamentals and just in general rendering and drawing portraits. She is a very skillful artist, and I think it's amazing when an artist gets recognition online. However, many times in the art community, we've seen when deeper sides of artists kind of come out and expose themselves and show that they're not the best people. And unfortunately, Colleen kind of falls into that box. Colleen has been gaining a bit too much attention with one of her newer tutorials, which is, again, the thing that she's been kind of renowned for. This tutorial was a demonstration on how to draw a side profile. Uh, I must say a little disclaimer, I actually wasn't able to find this original video anywhere. Most of the clips that I'm going to be using for context and like what's going on, I actually found them on Twitter from this user called wet underscore baklava. So definitely go check out uh, baklava's Twitter to check what's going on there. Anyways, I'm just going to show the clip and you'll be able to see why people were outraged. The reason why we're making this line is that we have to make sure that everything below the nose doesn't exceed this line. So the lips and the chin shouldn't exceed this line, no matter how juicy and big his lips are. Anyway, I don't think it takes like a genius to understand why this upset people. But if you need extra help, I can give it to you. I mean, number one, the right head and by right, I don't mean the one on the right, I mean the one that's labeled right and correct, is it has anatomy that a lot of people have explained is not the best. The one on the right, the one that's labeled as incorrect, which many people have expressed, has many attributes and features that are correlated with people of color, more specifically black and indigenous people, that one has been labeled as gorilla. So at what point is it just idiocy that causes someone to say this, right? The reference here, I believe, is that this person looks like they have an underbite or it might be an overbite, but I'm pretty sure it's an underbite, which, you know, is pretty synonymous with gorilla faces, I believe. I think that's what she was trying to get at. It's just a really bad look, to be honest. I think the worst part about this is where Cooling could have just passed this off as a lapse in judgment where she did one thing wrong by accident by saying something that she shouldn't have. We've seen little, little thoughts of casual racism dropped in her art before. As I mentioned before, Colleen is known for all of her art tutorials and stuff like that, but she also does roasting slash fixing her fans' art. Basically, they'll send her their art and then she will draw over it and correct it to be the way that she thinks would look better. This is actually an art method and critique that I really like to see artists 
taking their fans work with permission of course and showing the mistakes that they see and explaining how they can improve is really useful it really helps you to see like the correct version and the wrong version to improve an art but the whole issue with her doing the fixing art stuff is that we have at least two examples of Colleen taking the opportunity to fix the art to just make fun of or remove attributes that are correlated with black people mostly. The first example of this is the one where she corrects a side profile which is most relevant to the discussion right now so I'll show that right now. Be real, she looking kind of goofy, so let me give you some hashtag valid criticism. As a general rule, just don't let the chin exceed the nose. Imagine that this is the skull, and this is where the eye should be. Two sins! Two! Oh my god, you're not- Oh! Colleen, you are a very talented artist and I severely doubt that you have never drawn a head at a different angle than 90 degrees straight forward. Oh my, there is no way that you didn't know that this person is looking upward. Their head is tilted up. Their neck is literally tilting because their head is tilted upwards. Why are you drawing it as if they're looking straight ahead? They're not. A bit closer to the side. It helps to draw a diagonal line like this to serve as a guide. And now I'm simply gonna liquefy it and then the eyebrows just copy paste. And there we go, Yassify it before and after. Yasafut. You know what? I can I got a, I got a reference that's it's closer to the original drawing than whatever Queen was visualizing in her head. The woman looking upwards. Yeah, here's the original and the the one Queen made. Here, let's let's put this on top of that one. See how it is anatomically, right? Line it up. Oh, look at that. Granted, I did rotate it a bit, but I'll, I'll give Colleen the same benefit of the doubt on that. It lines up anatomically, like the forehead and the lips, like they don't, they don't have to change much. And keyword much. There is of course some issues here because it's an artist, right? This is a replication of reality and reality is always going to win in that battle. But proportions are pretty much fine, at least in comparison to what Colleen does. Oh, I, I seem to be having an issue here. I can't really line it up. Like, at all. Like, if I try to get the forehead in here, the nose and the chin aren't gonna line. And if I get then the chin and the lips, then the nose and the forehead... The forehead stays back and the nose exceeds. How are you gonna do a correcting your fans' art post and then your art looks so much worse than the original? Not only anatomically, just genuinely looking at yours in comparison to the other one is so much scarier. Oh my god, I just realized something. This nose is pointy. Not that pointy, but this one goes this way. She didn't even say to do that in her little tutorial. She just changed the shape of the nose because she didn't like it because that's what any sound artist does. Um. Anyways, besides all of that ignorant, really weird, like, head stuff that she's trying to do, I actually have a pretty good idea of where she got this idea from that the the lips have to be inside of the nose and the chin. I believe that she got this from another artist called Ethan Becker. And I'm not bringing Ethan Becker's name into this to drag him down because he's one of my favorite artists and he's one of the best artists in the industry. A lot of artists show that they take advice from Ethan Becker because his advice is objectively good. He's an industry professional. So I don't have any doubt in my mind that Colleen may be one of these people. I do think it's important though to point out that she could have gotten this advice from a total different source. I just have never seen a different artist talk about it other than Ethan Becker. And it even took me like an hour to find a video where he pointed this out, so. Anyways, in this video, Ethan demonstrates like in a review of TikTok art tutorials, how to draw a side profile. Basically, he's reviewing how TikTok artists do certain tutorials and if they're good or bad, and then he reviews his own way of doing it. 
One of those tutorials happened to be a side profile, which he didn't entirely agree with, so then he showed his way of drawing the side profile that was in that video. The technique that Ethan uses is extremely similar to Colleen's, albeit with a bit of better anatomy and stuff. But here's where the two differentiate. Becker, in all of his videos, is very adamant about using a reference for your art. Like, if you watch three of his videos, you're gonna hear that phrase like 10 times. Take video. You take video reference. You have to take video reference. He constantly traces over references, not because he's trying to cheat, but because he's studying. He's encouraging his audience to study by reviewing the forms of real images and real people, and then adapting them into your art. And that exact whole thing tracing over the reference to understand what's going on is what he does in this video. He explains the negative space of the photo and shows how the triangle between the nose and the chin are the safe space where the lips will stay inside, a way to know where the lips will stay. And then there's the other video, which I'm not going to go into as much depth about because it's pretty much just said and done what happened. It was Colleen doing another one of her fixing art tutorials and the submission was of a black woman with edges stylized onto her forehead and such. And then Colleen made the comment What the heck is that? Why does she have four eyebrows? Bruh. Which is gross. It takes a single Google search to learn what it is and then just another to realize why they're important. If you don't want to do it, I'll do it for you. Basically, it's to show the texture of black hair with pride. So, you know, no shame and the baby hairs and their texture. That's what that's for. But to Colleen, it's just a fourth set of eyebrows. So she's also shown kind of like low-key colorism when she did one of those little random oc picker things if you don't know what those are it's like a trend where they'll have a video with a bunch of different options for an original character to be made and then you pause the video and it'll basically give you a random option of skin color accessories outfit how many eyes how many arms stuff like that that's actually how i made the little avatar for my youtube channel this little guy here that's how I made mine. And Colleen decided that she wanted to play around with this trend and make her own. Colleen gets a color, a skin color, that seems to not be her favorite. And even though it's obviously like, you know, black in terms of skin tone, she called it tan, which is a bit of a red flag, but I guess can be dismissed. But then when she goes to draw this character, she doesn't color pick from the video where she got that color from. She instead gets her own color, which when we compare the two, is way lighter than the original color she got. Again, this isn't just, you know, lightening or muting colors for color scheme. This is just actually lightening a person because you don't like their skin color, which is kind of taboo. Actually, not even kind of, it just actually is. Something I genuinely think Colleen doesn't understand is that rules have exceptions. And that includes hers. Artists have constantly thrown out these arbitrary rules that you have to follow. Like, a person is usually eight heads tall, or the size between the eyes is going to be the size of an eye. Which, yeah, those are good fundamentals and rules that we can follow. But when you look out in the real world, it's usually not the same for everybody. Not everyone is eight heads tall, and their proportions won't match it either. Some people are really short, some people are really tall. Some people have hooked noses, and some people have really skinny noses or button noses. Some people have angled eyes, or they don't. Some people have really thin lips, some people have really big lips. The rules that we learn when starting out in art are based on an average, and they're just meant to start you out before you then are allowed to break them to include more diversity in your art. Colleen could have easily avoided all of this if she didn't claim that the wrong one, which wasn't even wrong was reminiscent of a gorilla especially when that version was so much closer to people of color than the one that she deemed correct to better demonstrate the whole breaking rules for the sake of diversity i wanted to bring an artist that does it really well this artist is called loish which i'm sure many artists already are familiar with when you look up her art in contrast to colleen's you're gonna notice an immediate difference First of all, Colleen has no diversity in her art, and I don't mean that in terms of race or size or shape or anything. I mean, legitimately, all of her art 
is the same thing. It's the same portrait at the same angle, looking in the same direction with the same hairstyle, same eyes, same everything. And it just gets boring to look at after a while. But if you look up Loisha's art, you're immediately struck with all of this diversity. And again, not just in skin color and size and race. In every way possible, Loish implements diversity into her art. The colors, the contents of her art, the messages that she's delivering, the things that she's doing. But it is more relevant if we talk about the diversity in race because that's what's pretty much started this entire controversy. When you look at Loisha's art, she does follow the rules set by Becker, the whole keep the lips inside of the nose and chin. She follows it pretty well when she's drawing white characters because that's who that rule was pretty much made for, white people. Here, when we scroll down, we see a black woman whose lips reach beyond her nose and chin, and the anatomy doesn't look wrong at all. Not to me. Wait, there's something else here. There's someone up here with an overbite, which is really similar to the one that everyone was making fun of Colleen for. This is this is what I was saying earlier, like all these arbitrary rules, they're not definitive on how everyone has to look. You can follow the rule, I mean, albeit a bit more properly than Colleen has laid it out, but the point of these rules is not to be definitive or to stick to them so closely. It's to learn the fundamentals or proportions and extend beyond them to better include all types of people after you get them down. Again, not everyone is going to fit the proportions of the eight heads method. Not everyone is thin, not everyone has perfect white features. And if Loisha's art shows anything, it's that you can be beautiful with any type of body or face. I mean, just look at these three, I want to kiss all of them. Anyway, since I'm pretty late to this subject, I actually have stuck around long enough to be able to see the people who have come out in Colleen's defense. A lot of them are just actually racist people. I mean, I saw this screenshot which was... If it wasn't funny, it would be purely disgusting. And then this other retelling of a comment that someone got, which is also disgusting. I see a lot of people making this specific defense about rotating the whole like skull thing that she said was the right one, that if you rotate it, it will actually look good. But that's not what Colleen did in her video. I don't think Colleen knows how to do that. I genuinely think that she makes all of her portraits at the exact same looking straight angle. So this defense just doesn't work. And I saw another defense about how she doesn't have to draw people of color, that she can draw East Asian people mostly if that's what she wants, which is definitely a take. Not one that I entirely agree with, but a fair one if that's what Colleen wants to do, right? Yeah. We can't force you to draw people of color and such, you mean? Your art is your own, you're allowed to make what you want. But that's not the issue here. People aren't critiquing Colleen because she's not drawing enough people of color. At least that's not the main concern. People are critiquing her because she called Edge's fourth eyebrows and made a black person's lips smaller, saying it looks better. It's the ignorance that people are calling out, not her lack of diversity. But maybe she's right, maybe I'm the problem, maybe we're all the problem. I'm gonna go ahead and use her technique to go fix up all of my bad art because that's probably what we're supposed to be doing here anyway. Take off the fufu, take off the cloud chain, take off the wifi, take off the money phone, take off the car loan, take off the flex and the white loss, take off the weird ass jewelry, I'ma take this step, then I'm taking off top off. Take off the fabricated streets and the microwave memes is a real world outside. Take off your idols, take off the runway, take off the Cairo. Take off the sandal, pay five days pay, take off for the meal, have a five day. Take off the front flag, take off the reception, take off the cop with the hot pad. Take off the 